Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. We got a painting with PA Brew News right now. Uh, I haven't done one in a long time. I'm gonna post this to uh, my other YouTube channel. I just started uh, painting with PA Brew News, the YouTube channel. Not your traditional opening. I understand that. I still have my playlist on the PA Brew, uh, PA Brew News channel. So I'm just gonna gonna get in here and see if I can um, kick the dust off, if you know what I mean, or work the rust off because it's been a long time since I've done any of these so uh, just got a, a 12 by 12 by 2 canvas with a little bit of a black acrylic on it we're gonna have some fun and I'm sorry I don't have my I don't have my uh, mic plugged in my lapel mic the next video will have the lapel mic charged and ready to go I just wanted to kind of figure let's get some let's try to do something let's try to have some fun get something done so that's all right now So right now we're gonna we're just gonna start putting a little color on here just to make color for no reason other than to make color. And I'm just gonna kind of little X's flopping around. No big deal. We don't care where it goes where. We don't care at all. See? We don't care. Alright, just a little yellow. Just a little yellow. We have a little bit of this. I even threw right, go right to the crimson. Let's go crazy. Right there. The darkest part you want is kind of the corners. Kind of focuses the eye a little bit into the center. So I'm going to throw these crimson up here in the corners. Then I'm going to kind of just blend it in with the colors I have on the that yellow that we have on here. Just kind of let it fade away if you know what I mean. I like that. We're not going to worry too much about it. If you wanted to, you could get a little, little touch of blue. Kind of touch a little blue here and there. It just blends in. It'll blend in with the color behind it, so it's not a big deal. Sometimes there are little streaks of blue in the sky. You don't want to mix it with the yellow, though. Then you get a nice green sky. <laughs> so, with little streaks and a little blue here is not going to hurt anything. You just tap it in sometimes. You can just tap in little streaks where you think a little blue might still be hanging out. Not a big deal. Like that. And we'll just blend it in. Look at that. Now a little white, a little white on there. Bolt through the white. And right where these blues are, I'm just gonna tap in a little, little white. Let's just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap it in, tap it in. Just like that. Tap, 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 tap. Hard tap. And soft, and blend it in. Right there. Shoot, I think you already got a pretty good looking sky. Let's see if we can a cloud right here. There it is. Nice and soft, so you don't blend it together. If you do it too hard, the clouds will just literally blend into what you had behind you. So you want to do the clouds just a little bit less vigorous, if you know what I mean. Now, I have the top, so I want to get some color on the top, too. There's the top of this painting, so I want to just put some color on top of it, just so it's not left out. Some of that little reds and yellows. I'm just going to throw it in here. Most of it's just sky, but like I said, you don't want to leave it out. And some of this you can even do when you take it off, so... Not that big of a deal. Clean the brush off. That's all I'm really doing right now is just clean the brush off. And there you go. All this was the same one inch brush that we put the oil on. Haven't used a different brush yet. Still not going to use a different brush. Kind of going to go into just a little bit of crimson, maybe a little bit of brown. 
and then a little bit of white too. Actually, we're gonna go right back into this white color. Just make a little brown, crimson, and white. We're just gonna make a little designs here. Got some black here shining through, so we can just follow those outlines. We're just cleaning the brush essentially. Just wherever you want to put stuff that you think might just still be hanging around. If you don't like it? You can blend it. Just like that. Put the color right there. It's all shadows later. It's not a big deal. I'm going to actually clean this brush for the first time. This brush to the side. Alright, let's see, get a little liner brush out. This little liner brush. Really, oh, there, whoa, too, there you go. Little, just a little liner brush. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm, this is the one of the first times I've really painted in a long time, so I'm kind of knocking off the rust. You're, you're with me while I knock off the rust. This is a real beat up lighter brush, but you can still kind of just make little sticks and twigs, things that live back here. Can't see them all, so just make a little couple scrapes. It's not going to hurt anything. Some will show, some won't. Oh, there's a big one. And there's one right there. See? Some of them just disappear. They come and they go. Where do they go? Who knows? Already you're starting the whole forest. Look at all these things. Look at that. And you don't care what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's so easy. So wherever the brush goes, that's where it goes. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. I like the fact that that happened. Look at this. Yeah, right there. Are you serious? Look, look at this. Look at this forest. Now, I like this too. Watch. See that right there? Go on. <laughs> Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, there's a lot of color back here, so I want to kind of accent a little bit of that color. I'm going to dip it in just a little bit of this liquid clear that I used, just a little bit of that. Kind of want to go into a real bright yellow, kind of like a white mixed with yellow. Let's see if I can dab some of these, just with. Now they're all, not going to be all yellow, but they can go in some orange or some red. That would be fun. Same dirty brush. All right, then we can just tap. Try not to let the brush slide. Like I said, I'm trying to get my feeling back after a long time of not not doing this so don't be afraid of just tapping the brush and seeing what happens because we're just going to have some fun here we don't care huh see hmm. now we might have just throw a little crimson in there unfortunately i'm having a good time doing this so i kind of want to Zazz up a little bit. Zazz it up a little bit. Let's see if we can find some. This needs to stand out a little bit. Look at this little shape of the brush. It's almost giving me like a, a pop. 
pine tree look. That's actually pretty interesting. Or maybe those uh the the birch like a birch tree. And it gives that kind of vibe too. Now I'm gonna clean that brush again. Same same brush we started with. Same brush. Okay. So I can go back right into the liner brush. Yeah, with the dark color on it. Why not? Go back to the same thing. And I'm just gonna add another number two here. I just push back what we did before. Cause it kind of helps do that. Okay, that's a nice little mess. This will be fun. Okay. Now we're going to get into some crazy stuff. Let's do that. Here's the oval brush. I'm gonna, I have two oval brushes. I'm going to use one for dark and one for light. So the first one, I'm going to go through some brown. Brown and crimson. Let's see, let's see. Same thing here. And just tap it down. Tap the sides. It's all just this brown and crimson, so just gives you a nice little base color to work with. Okay. If you want to go crazy all of a sudden, look at that. You can see that. Tap, 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 tap. Gives you some pretty crazy layers all of a sudden. filbert brush right here just picked it up might want might go with it so we got a little need a little dark color so the same brown and reds and all that stuff we went through now I'm gonna go through some white just like that see that black or brown or white and then why don't we just make a little why don't we make something that looks like that Stones that hang out here. On the path. Oh, a little path in there. Something's going on. Just pull that out. Do it again. And we can just actually take it and Get that color. Open. Scrape in all the path.
Just like that. Now we have a path. All of a sudden. We got this we got this dirty brush. What if we have well let's let's save that dirty brush for just a second. Throw in some color. Got the other oval brush. Dip it into a little paint thinner. A little bit. Go back into the yellows. Whites and yellow combo. Okay, tap it in. Okay. Like I said, I haven't done a lot of this in a, in a long time, so I'm trying to get back into it. Nice little bright colors here and there. Something that really kind of just shines and makes you feel good. Maybe they come back right onto the path here. Don't kill all the dark though. Leave some of that dark. That dark is deep. How it holds things you don't know. It's kind of interesting. And you can even add some of these like that. Look at that big tree that grew out of nowhere. Stuff like that. Things that. Oh, right back there. There you go. Throw some orange. Again, we're going to dip it into a slight bit of paint thinner. Knock that excess off. Go right back into this orange. Yellow, orange. We're really blending now, so don't be afraid. And when you touch it, it should just come right off. And if it doesn't, you can add a little bit more paint thinner. But if it gets too much, then you just got too much paint thinner on it. It's going to start smearing. So just add a little bit of thicker paint. It's not the end of the world. We will make it work. Ooh, that's nice. You know what? When I get paintings like this, it's actually nice to add a little green into it. So let me, let me set these tipped around. Make sure you paint it all around, right? So I'm going to make this primarily this color of a tree. So tip it down. Just like that. Okay. Down here too, on the side. Make it easy. There. Alright, that's about it. that's about it. Let's go in some greens. Got some green machine going on. This is full scale green. Look at that. Don't kill all the dark though. Leave it. Touch it. Just touch it. See if you can walk in some little grassy, grassy spots. There was. You can get some little white on there too. Make some little bright spots. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's nice. Take that. Just brush it. Set it right back down to where it's supposed to be. We'll highlight that. We have a bush that's over here. Swing over here. There's a. Oh, fine. That has some, some nice little things right there. Hmm? And some nice leaves on that vine. Look at this, huh? Now, you know what? I want to. I want to throw one of those guys right back here. I think. Right there. That guy lives right there. Just mix it up, have fun. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. That guy. Okay. Right 
too. Some thick crimson on that one. Some thick crimson. Walk through the white. Well, really, we're getting to it now, right? Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Purple tree. Didn't expect that. There it is. So then you get a purple tree. I want some purple bushes. Didn't expect that, did you? Nice. Here. How about there's a purple tree that goes right up? Some nice bushes. Right here. Accent your sides a little bit. that in there real quick into the white as much as I can it's nice because I want to give little purple flowers right here right there nice little purple flowers hmm pretty cool Like that, and you're done. Let's see. Clean the brush off. Just wash it through some oilless turpentine oil. Beat the devil out of it off the side of the little can that I have in my splash bucket. No big deal. All right, going back into what I had before that uh, filbert brush with the colors on it, dark colors on it, just like this. So we'll just take here and well, we see what we don't like, what we do like, who knows? Maybe we can just go like this. Yeah, let's see. Um, where are we? Right here. Right here. colors on there we'll go through it again we'll just lightly go through it uh, oh, oh. it's all right let it stick let it do its thing there it goes get it gnarly oh gnarly tree oh. that's what I'm talking about that's a tree Gnarly dead tree. Arr. Goes all the way to the top. Cool. Look at that. Same old dirty brush you were using the whole time. Clean it off. Scrub it on the rack I have of the odorless paint thinner. Beat it on the brush. Doesn't beat as well as the big brushes, I'll tell you that. And then. We go right back to the liner brush. Why not? Let's go right into these dark colors. Some dark colors right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So these are nice dark colors. So why don't we just. Okay, there's another one that goes right here. Another one that goes right here. That one went up. And that one went down. Just like that. Maybe there's one that comes here from the dark. Goes up. You don't see it. That way. 
Perfect. Okay. Now we clean up. Give me a little towel towel. Towel towel wow wow. Okay. Done. Done, done, and done. There she be. 25 minutes. Pretty good. Well, hi, it's me. Remember me? Anyway, let me see if I can get you around here. I know there's a lot of discombobulation going on right now. So, here it is. My 25-minute little pink tang. So, there it is. Now, this one... I thank everybody for joining me. This is the first episode on the Painting with P.A. Brews, uh, PA Brews YouTube channel, the dedicated YouTube channel. My video playlist is still, that is, uh, is already uh, active, is on the P.A. Brews YouTube channel, okay? So if you want to check out any more Painting with P.A. Brews, check it out over there. And we will be uploading other videos here and there. But this will be a celebratory uh, giveaway. So put your names in the comments. Say hi, who you are, the whole deal, whatever. Uh, what you'd like to see more of and stuff. But put your name in the comments to this video. And you will get this video if I pull your name out of the hat after the drawing. And this will be around, let's see, if I, draw, if I pop it up, let's see, if I pop it up, let's say uh, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day drawing on this one. Now, I will post this up on the YouTube uh, PA Brunews channel. You have to go to Oil Paintings by PA Brunews. Sub up. You got to be a subscriber. And you have to comment, and you can get this once it's dry, and I will ship it to you. And especially if you live in the United States, but because this is the very first doodly do, we'll definitely ship it wherever you where you live if you win. So anyway, this has been Paul from PA Brew News, painting with PA Brew News. Technically, like episode thirty nine, <laughs> but we're gonna go for episode one on the painting with PA Brew News YouTube channel. So until then, see ya. Cheers.